Miss Crystal back at you with another motherfucking review, y'all. Yes. I wish y'all could hear what was <laughs> the radio right now. Ah, I love it. Hey guys, what's going down? It's me, your girl. Back with another review. This time, slightly different. We got some ebony prints, y'all. Check these babies out. Oh. Y'all, I just cannot. Look. This is the Neverfull MM in the bean print. A bean, ebony, whatever the hell you want to call it. We all know what we're talking about. Anyway, guys, this is a replica video. If y'all are not into replicas, there's the damn doll, bitch. See your way out. Get your bad ass on somewhere, because we ain't got no time for that. <laughs> anyway, guys, just a really quick video, because I got so much going on. Your girl is fighting a kidney stone right now the size of Washington, the size of Texas, the size of Georgia. All them bitches put together. Shout out to all my Texans out there because everybody does it bigger in Texas. This bitch is the size of Texas. Okay? Your girl hadn't been feeling too good, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to jump on and let y'all know I haven't uh, fallen down a, a hole somewhere. I'm still here. And um, just show you some of my new shit, y'all. Showing you some new shit. We got typical dust bag. It's beautiful, it's soft, it's a damn dust bag, and y'all know how I do. Today, we just gonna take a close up look of this Neverfull MM in the Abeen print. This has the red interior, you guys. Holy shit. Holy shit, y'all. Look at this baby. Look at that alignment. Oh my God, she's gorgeous. One thing I look out for when I'm buying these things, you want that full square here, y'all. It's got the full square. Look at the color on this bag, you guys. It is freaking stunning. I have my window open, so you're getting the window view of this color. Look at her, look at the leaves. Yes, honey, check out that hardware. Got the nice little point there. Everything is matching up side, size-wise. The cinch straps go down to the bottom of the bag. Everything is measuring up. Of course, you know, your girl had to open these babies up. Take a look at this alignment. Yes, baby, yes. Just beautiful. We got cinch straps here. Let's check the... We're going to go down our checklist of never full stuff. Y'all know how we do, but we're going to do quick. We got left over right. Let me see if I can tell. We got left over right. Check the hardware out, y'all. Look at that stitching. Beautiful D-rings. Correct color hardware. Same thing on this side. It's got the beautiful indentations down on this cinch strap, just like the Authentics. Everything looks amazing. Let's take a look at this glazing. Glazing is gorgeous. Nicely done. This bag does have one Vachetta cut up here on the top, and that's fine because guess what y'all? Louis Vuitton is making these Neverfulls with one Vachetta cut now. It used to only be two, but now they're doing it with one. So if you have a bag with two cuts, or if you have a bag with one cut, they are both correct. Ain't no more, nobody counting your Vachetta cuts, honey. They are all correct now. So let's take a look inside. Isn't that gorgeous? The pocket does go all the way to the bottom. We got the baby claw on here. Y'all know I love the claws correct number of stitching. You've got your stamping on the inside. Let's see if I can pull this baby out so y'all can see. They do stamp these in red, you guys, and with time they do wear, they kind of wear off, but you'll still see where it, it will say the Louis Vuitton. Okay. All of the zipper pulls are a matte zipper pull. Where it's supposed to be matte, it's matte. Where it's shiny, it's shiny. This bag is too damn good. Oh, look at this baby claw, y'all. 
I can do it. How y'all doing? I said, how you doing? Got the little claw on there. I love that. Take a look at the stitching. The glazing on this bag is stunning. Wow. Okay. All the interior, it's double stitched. It does have the reinforced bottom, which is nice. You have the double stitching here. All the hardware is correct on the inside. You've got your D-ring there. I can't find nothing wrong with this bag. Nothing. Okay, let's see. We got the little pochette. Let's see if it matches. Yes, honey. We got a good match. It's got a zipper. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's a good damn zipper. We got a little uh, gel silica pack. You got your paperwork. If anyone wants to be nosy on your ass. Inside, it does have the correct stamping. Beautiful. Look at the stitching. Look at that. I want to point out, guys, these Vachetta pieces, even on the handles, this is treated Vachetta here since it's the darker. So it's going to be a little bit stiffer than your natural Vachetta because that is untreated. This is treated. And even this treated is pretty soft. Like, it's pretty supple. And I want y'all to know that this machete is very, very delicate, okay? Um, when I get these bags, everything's all folded inside the bag just like this. And it's all taped up in there. So, you know, when I open them at home, I check everything. And from everything being stuffed down in these bags, sometimes this machete will get a little wrinkly, and that's okay, guys, because that is normal anyway. When you start to use the bag, this vachetta will start to wrinkle anyway. So if you ever get a bag and you see wrinkling in it, it's okay. It's supposed to happen anyway. So, mind you, we're getting these at a fraction of the cost of a real Louis Vuitton, and these look identical to them. So... We're the smart consumers on this one, y'all. This bag is perfect. I also have, well, I might wanna pop this open just to show and compare. Sit your pretty ass over here, baby. You sit next to me. I also have one in the pink interior. This one is just stunning to me, you guys. It is the same exact bag as this one, except the pink it, it is pink or like a peachy pink. It's more of a peach to me. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all, the inside of this bag, there is a pinstriping and it is a little dark compared to the authentic bags. But everything else on the bag is correct. And what I always say is I don't give a shit what's going on on the inside of the bag because who the fuck is looking in there but me? Nobody. What matters is what's on the outside. So to me, I will trade off, okay, well the pinstriping's a little dark, but this is a peachy pink and that's correct. The, it, the pinstriping might be a little uh, darker shade than it should be, but this bag is too good that I wouldn't even give a shit about that. Because everything else on it is correct. You have the one Vachetta cut, which now that's correct. It came with the same dust bag as this one. You know what I say about dust bags. I just want to compare these two. Everything is the same, right? It comes with a little pochette. It even looks like the same. Let me pull the pochette out of here. That's an exact match to this one too. This canvas is freaking beautiful. Everything on here is nice. This vachetta on this, um, this darker treated vachetta is real soft. And I wasn't expecting that. But the inside is stamped in red. And that's correct. Everything on this bag is correct. The only thing I'm seeing in that alignment on this one is beautiful too. It's beautiful. It's just like the red one I just showed you. And it's got the baby claw. Let's take a look at this. So damn cute. Oh, I got this, these from the same seller. Look at that. The glazing is gorgeous. 
it's just beautiful. And since this Vachetta is so freaking soft on this, I've never seen one that was so soft like these. They do wrinkle easily and that's normal because it happens. So from these being folded in during shipping, they do tend to wrinkle. And anyway, they wrinkle with time. You can see a little bit of wrinkling in here. And if you condition your bags and leather them, and that's still gonna happen anyway, even with use. You start using it, you're gonna have a little bit of wrinkling. So if you guys get your bags from other people and they have a little wrinkles in them, that's okay, because it's gonna happen. So don't freak out. <laughs> Don't freak out, y'all. We got the interior is double reinforced at the bottom. We have the double stitching here. Everything's so cute. I love the pink. For some reason, on these Neverfolds, it's everything is exact on this one, like the outside. These go all the way to the bottom. You have the cinch strap. Everything's perfectly placed. You have leftover right here. Everything's just beautiful. I mean, to me, that's a trade-off. I want, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not gonna be one of those hussies. I'm not calling y'all hussies, but I'm not gonna cut these cinch straps and redo it. When I get a bag, bitch, I want it to be right, okay? The bags I get are all left over right. I don't wanna cut and super glue my bags together. Hell no. Hell no, not here, honey. So these are all correct. You don't have to do nothing to them. Stick a damn liner down in here to organize your little shizzies, okay? And nobody's gonna see that little pinstripe. Because this glazing and this canvas is sturdy. It's not a thin canvas. It's meant for ladies who are rough as shit with their handbags. Because I know I am not the only one who takes their handbags and just walks it in the car like you attacking somebody. Because that's me. I've almost broke my fucking window in the passenger side throwing my shit. <laughs> but these are so cute, I just love them. Look at the stitching. We got stitching, oh, it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. Like, I can't sew in a straight line. I don't even know how they do this. But we are smart consumers, you guys. The only thing different on this bag than the authentic one is that the pinstripe's a little dark. Everything else, exterior and interior is correct. Measurements are correct. Hardware's correct. Everything. This one is, is, is a, a 10. This one is a 9.9 .9 because the pinstripe is a little darker, but who gives a shit? Not me, not when the canvas is this great. And not when you get Vachetta that's this soft, honey. Usually when you get this treated stuff, it almost feels like plastic, not on these bags. It actually feels like leather, because it is leather. Nobody's playing us. You ain't gonna be doing me dirty. Nope. We only have real, we have the best up in here, y'all. Yes. But anyway, guys, that's, I just wanted to show these to you. I went through all my checkpoints on them already, but I just wanted to show you guys these two new ones that I got. Everything, I just think they're gorgeous. I, I just can't. I don't need another damn Neverfull. My husband's gonna kill my ass. And he thinks I look stupid walking around with the Neverfull. He always says, you're just too little. You too little. Bitch, I am not a child, okay? I'm a woman. I can carry whatever the fuck I wanna carry. I don't care if I look like a fool. I don't care if my handbag is so heavy. I'm like this the rest of my life. If I want to use an Everfull, I'm going to use one. So shut the hell up. Don't make me get, don't make me get my <laughs> tape recorder out and show your mom how you talk to me. Mm -mm. Not today, Satan. So anyway, guys, I just want to show y'all these. I just think they're divine. I would walk around with either one, but you know, my idea and my standard of is of good might be different than someone else's. But y'all, I have seen some shitty, shitty rep bags. These bags that I'm getting now are not shitty. Yeah, every replica is gonna have something wrong with it. Every replica. So expect that. 
do not expect them to be 100% because they don't, they are not out there. I don't care if they're six, $700 replica bags, there's gonna be something wrong with them, y'all. So don't beat yourself up over the small shit. Find out what matters most to you for your handbag, what works for you, and go that way because none of them are perfect. Don't set yourself up for disappointment. But these are so damn good, y'all. Oh my God, I just can't. Anyway, y'all know what I say. If you come by and see me on Instagram, I love it when you come say hi to me. All my peoples, all my bitches gonna be walking around looking fly as hell. Yes. Y'all know what I say. Stay classy and stay sassy. Peace. <laughs>